I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on implicit derivatives. The question is differentiate the following equation with respect to x. So we need to find dy dx. The equation is x times e to the power of y minus y cube times e to the power of x. So let us differentiate with respect to x, right? So uh, these are two terms, product, here also we product. So we'll apply the product rule to start with. Okay, so, so we can say derivative of the first function, which is x, so d dx of x times e to the power of y plus x times d dx of e to the power of y minus, let's do this one, let me put them in bracket. So we have d dx of y cube times e to the power of x plus y cube times d dx of e to the power of x, right? Equal to d dx of zero. Now derivative of x is one, so what we get here is e to the power of y. So we get e to the power of y plus x times derivative of e to the power of y. Now, we need to use chain rule here. So we get x times d dy of e to the power of y times dy dx, correct? So we will apply the chain rule so that we can find derivative of e to the power of y with respect to y, right? Now we'll do the same thing here. Uh, derivative of y cube could be written as d dy of y cube times dy dx and that is to be multiplied by e to the power of y plus y cube times derivative of e to the power of x is e to the power of x, correct? And derivative of a constant is zero. So we get few terms with dy dx. We'll rearrange to find the value of dy dx. So let's find these derivatives. So we have e to the power of y plus x times, that is e to the power of y, dy dx. Is it okay? dy dx minus within brackets. Derivative of y squared with respect to y is 2y times dy dx times e to the power of y plus y cube times e to the power of x equals to zero. Now since we need to find dy dx, we'll leave terms with dy dx on the left side, take the other terms to the right side. So we have these two terms with dy dx, right? We have these two terms which we'll leave here. So let me write them first. So it is x times e to the power of y dy dx and then when you open the bracket you get minus 2y e to the power of y dy dx correct equal to so let me take these terms on the right side this is negative sign so I'll take that first so we'll write this as y cube e to the power of x and uh, then we'll take minus e to the power of y is it okay now we can always take dy dx common so we get uh, x e to the power of y minus 2y e to the power of y so e to the power of y is common here i could have taken that common also anyway all this times dy dx equal to y cube e to the power of x minus e to the power of y Correct? So, so that's what we get. And now we can write down the derivative dy dx. Correct? So I'll write down the answer here. dy dx is equal to, the numerator will be y cube e to the power of x minus e to the power of y divided by all this. Right? So if you want, you can write e to the power of y as factored out. So we get x minus 2y. In the brackets correct so that becomes the derivative 
of the given function and we applied chain rule here and we used implicit derivation. I hope that really helps. You can always write your comments, subscribe to my videos and feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.